Hello, math faculty members at Jackson College and anybody else who may be watching. A few of you have asked how have I set my, my computer for making videos for students. So this video is just to share my setup with you all. So I have kind of an elaborate setup. Um, it doesn't need to be quite this elaborate. Um, I have my laptop right there and it has a wired headset attached that has a microphone. You technically can use wireless as well. I just fed frustrations with wireless staying charged enough, so I don't bother generally. And then you can see over here I have my IPVO camera. I've actually put a whiteboard underneath it so that way I have a nice surface to write on. And it can get a little dark, especially at night when making videos, so I actually brought in a desk lamp to kind of give me some extra light as well as the lamp right next to it. So that can um, hopefully help make the paper bright enough for students to see. Now on the computer, um, I actually have an external monitor, which is not necessary. I just particularly like it, so I have it. So I have on my computer, I have my laptop, which just has uh, my windows and whatever else. And then I've extended my display. And then what this is currently is the IPVO camera. So the IPVO camera, if I can see, is this icon right here. So this is the camera setting. And if you click on, you can see you can focus the IPVO camera and all sorts of other things. And if you click on the screen again, then those extra bits disappear. Um, and then to record, I use Snagit. I put my headset on uh, um, my body, which I'm not going to do. So I put my headset on, bring my microphone out, and then I use Snagit to record. So I say I'm going to record a video here, and I'm going to capture it. And this is why I like having a second window. Um, I like having a second computer because then this monitor can be taken up entirely with my IPVO camera. And it's up to you if you want to do the whole window or if you just want to do kind of where the paper is, um, that's your choice. You can kind of say, all right, just this section where the paper is going to be for my notes, or you can do the entire IPVO window um, personal choice. It's, there's probably some technical reason why one is better than the other, but I'm not going to bother since I'm just trying to get things done quickly and easily. And then I can see the Snagit bit over here, which I like. I like having that extra control. If I need a program that I don't want students to see on my video, I can pull it up on my laptop and not have it be on this main screen. Like, say I want to bring up Desmos, um, but I don't want the students to see it. Also, the advantage of using Snagit is that if I'm recording in Snagit, um, let me click record. I'll make a fake video right here. But if I'm recording in Snagit and I want to bring up Desmos, and I want to show or Maple or some other program, or for example, my TI Smart View, I can pause the video over here on my Snagit window. And I can say, oh, just pause. And then I can open up a window over here of whatever I want. So if I want Smart View, or if I want Desmos, or if I want whatever, I can bring in a window that shows Desmos. And then you can fuss with this a little bit. You can make it so the Desmos window fits nicely. That might be an advantage actually to making it be the whole screen. If you make the Snagit window the whole screen, then it'll show this whole program screen that you're bringing up rather than having to size the window of Desmos down to fit that little yellow box that Snagit's recording. So there you go. Maybe it's better to do the whole window. But then I can show them Desmos. I can show them anything in this particular window that I want them to see. But remember, they'll only see inside that yellow box um, for what you're showing for your video and then I would go back here and say oh I got my Desmos now so I can record oops there we go record and then I can go over here and show them what I want them to see if I was doing it in this way then I would actually size the Desmos window to fit the yellow box better that way they can see everything that I'm doing and you can of course show them Desmos you can show them um, Maple, you can show them TI Smart View if you own TI Smart View, um, and so on. Um, of course, if you want to show on your calculator, you could, hypothetically speaking, show them a calculator on your Desmos, or excuse me, on your IPVO screen. So if you have a calculator, which I have, um, you could just put the calculator up on the screen and show them there. Oh, I wonder why that's... Oh, it's because it's backlit. Of course, I'm showing them one that um, is it has a backlighting to it. So that's interesting. Um, I've never done that before. Uh, so this is a particularly shiny one. I wonder if I did an old one, if it would do the same. 
I don't know, I've never done it. So, but there you go. I guess we can move it off of center and then it wouldn't have that problem. But of course you can only show a little bit. Be wary about trying to show your whole page on the IPVO camera. That's one recommendation I would make to you. Remember that your entire video is gonna show up on a YouTube video and YouTube videos are um, small in terms of their screen, their landscape. So if you tried to zoom out and show the whole page, it wouldn't work very well. So I've actually made it so that my Apivo camera's got a good tilt to it, but it's only going to show this top half of this page. And then I'm just going to move the page along as I go and show different parts of it. Um, it's a little bit cumbersome, but it's better than trying to make the students squint at the screen and figure out what the heck you're trying to do. And of course, you could always zoom in and zoom out to particular problems if you want to. All right, I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions about what I'm doing or how I set this up, and I will be happy to help.